hello guys uh, for today's video we are going to talk more on arithmetic sequence uh, more examples on how to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence given a sequence a specific term and the common difference and given any two terms in the arithmetic sequence so the third one can also help us deal with what we call arithmetic means on our next video let's proceed so given the sequence 12 8 4 0 find the ninth term so if we recall our formula our formula is a sub n this one a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference d so first things first let us find the common difference of this sequence so from 12 going to 8 we subtracted 4 from 8 going to 4 we subtracted 4 and same goes with from 4 going to 0 so now we can say that our common difference is negative 4 12 is our first term so is this enough for us to solve for the ninth term of this sequence the answer is yes so applying this formula if we if we are going to recall from our last video a sub n is the a sub n is our nth term we already know the first term and our common difference So let's plug all the values and solve for the ninth term. Let's use blue for this one. So, say for example you're looking for a sub 9 is equal to a sub 1. Our a sub 1 is 12. Plus n, you're uh, looking for the ninth term, so our n is 9. So that's 9 minus 1 times the common difference of negative 4. So, as I said from the past video, you have to be very careful using this parenthesis here. So continuing with this problem, 12 plus 9 minus 1 is 8 times the negative 4. 8 times negative 4 gives you a negative 32 plus 12 will give us negative 20. So our ninth term is... yeah negative 20 okay so let's proceed to the next one given that a sub 1 or the first term is 15 the common difference is positive 6 let's find the 14th term so the 14th term can be let's list down our gear actually it's already listed our a sub 1 is 15 our common difference is 6 and we are looking for a sub 14 so looking for a sub 14 will be as easy as plug and play. a sub 14 is equal to a sub 1 which is 15 plus the position 14 minus 1 times the common difference 6. So 15 plus 14 minus 1 is equal to 13 times 6. So you may do this manually or use your calculator uh, or an easy way to multiply 13 times 6 quick is 6 times 3 is 18 or 6 times 3 is 18 and 6 times 10 is 60 so that's 60 plus 18 that's 78 15 plus 78 gives you a 93 so the 14th term for this given sequence is okay so there's a what if so what if there's no given first term so let's try another example where in the first term is not given so given a sub 5 which is the fifth term which is equal to negative 3 and uh, the common difference is 5 find the 13th term so most people tend to simply list it down like this one so this is our first term second term third fourth and there's the fifth term which is negative three and then we just have to continue adding five to get the 13th term okay so the formula says that we need the first term we need the first term 
what if we don't know the first term can we find the first term yes can we find the last term yes also so let's list down first uh, or do first what most people will do so negative 3 they will add 5 to get a 2 they will add 5 to get 8 7 12 17 22 27 32 and 37 is the 13th term okay so here's what i tend to teach to my students uh, there is actually a pattern okay so let's analyze this formula so let's write it here a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d or times d let's use parentheses whatever the subscript of what you're looking for is associated with this n have you ever wondered um, where this one is associated from so it is associated from the subscript you're using as your first term so what uh, in in simple terms if we are going to solve this problem without using the first term we can have a sub 13 which is our 13th term the one we are looking for instead of using a sub 1 we don't have a sub 1 let's use a sub 5 plus and we all know that the n right here is associated with the n inside the parentheses so this is 13 but instead of minus 1 since we use since we are using 5 or a sub 5 then we should be placing here oops sorry we should be placing here minus 5 right and the common difference here is positive 5 let's see if we're going to get the same 37 so a sub 13 is equal to the fifth term is negative 3 plus 13 minus 5 is 8 8 times 5 is 40 so we have a sub 13 is equal to oops nilakasha so we have a sub 13 is equal to negative 3 plus 40 and voila it's 37 okay so i hope you did get something or learn something from this from today's video and uh, i will see you in the next video peace and uh, is this two answer or the, the 